Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Proverbs 11 verse 16 A gracious woman gets honor, and violent men get riches. Proverbs 31 verse 26 She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. Ephesians 4 verse 29 Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Proverbs 15 verse 1 A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Titus 2 verses 7 to 8 Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, dignity, and sound speech that cannot be condemned, so that an opponent may be put to shame, having nothing evil to say about us. Proverbs 16 verse 24 Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Romans 12 verse 10 Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you, have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. James 4 verse 6 But he gives more grace. Therefore it says, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Colossians 3 verse 12 Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Proverbs 3 verse 34 Toward the scorners he is scornful, but to the humble he gives favor. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another, for God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Proverbs 13 verse 15 Good sense wins favor, but the way of the treacherous is their ruin. Proverbs 21 verse 21 Whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find life, righteousness, and honor. Proverbs 22 verse 4 The reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Romans 14 verse 19 So then let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. Ephesians 5 verses 1 to 2 Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Proverbs 31 verse 30 Charm is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Proverbs 11 verse 22 Like a gold ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful woman without discretion. 
Proverbs 31 verse 25. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. 1 Peter 3 verses 3 to 4. Do not let your adorning be external the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry, or the clothing you wear, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14. Let all that you do be done in love. Colossians 3 verse 23. Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men. Proverbs 10 verse 32. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked, what is perverse. Proverbs 24 verses 3 to 4. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. By knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Romans 15 verse 1. We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Proverbs 16 verse 21. The wise of heart is called discerning, and sweetness of speech increases persuasiveness. Proverbs 15 verse 23. To make an apt answer is a joy to a man, and a word in season, how good it is. Ephesians 4 verse 32. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. Proverbs 14 verse 21. Whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner, but blessed is he who is generous to the poor. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 15. See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. Proverbs 19 verse 11. Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. Proverbs 17 verse 27. Whoever restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. 1 Peter 4 verse 10. As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace. James 1 verse 19. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Proverbs 31 verse 20. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. Matthew 5 verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Galatians 6 verse 10. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Proverbs 22 verse 9. Whoever has a bountiful I will be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. 1 John 4 verse 7. 
Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. 1 John 3 verse 16 By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. James 3 verses 17 to 18 But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Romans 12 verse 16 Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Matthew 6 verses 1 to 4 Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. James 2 verses 14 to 17 What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? So also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Romans 2 verses 6 to 7 He will render to each one according to his works, to those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. Romans 15 verse 2 Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to build him up. Proverbs 31 verse 31 Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her works praise her in the gates. Matthew 7 verse 12 so whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 7 But as you excel in everything in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in all earnestness, and in our love for you see that you excel in this act of grace also. Proverbs 14 verse 31 Whoever oppresses a poor man insults his maker, but he who is generous to the needy honors him. Matthew 25 verse 40 And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. Hebrews 13 verse 16 Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Proverbs 19 verse 17 Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his deed. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6 The point is this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Luke 6 verse 35 But love your enemies, and do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Matthew 5 verse 7 Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. 
Proverbs 31 verse 9. Open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and needy. James 1 verse 27. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. 1 Timothy 6 verse 18. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share. Romans 12 verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. 1 John 4 verse 11. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 3. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. James 2 verse 8. If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing well. Psalm 112 verse 5. It is well with the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. Luke 12 verse 33. Sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide yourselves with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. Proverbs 22 verses 22 to 23. Do not rob the poor, because he is poor, or crush the afflicted at the gate, for the Lord will plead their cause and rob of life those who rob them. Matthew 5 verse 42. Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. 1 Peter 3 verse 9. Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless, for to this you were called, that you may obtain a blessing. Proverbs 11 verse 25. Whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. Luke 14 verses 13 to 14. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed, because they cannot repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Proverbs 31 verses 8 to 9. Open your mouth for the mute, for the rights of all who are destitute. Open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and needy. Luke 11 verse 41. But give as alms those things that are within, and behold, everything is clean for you. Matthew 6 verses 2 to 4. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Matthew 25 verses 34 to 36. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me.